Hello guys and welcome in today's video. So today we're going to take a look at the top crypto assets that you can stake, uh, usually through cryptocurrency wallets or additional services. I chose some of the best coins in terms of their deflationary model, potential ecosystem, interest yields and reliability. And especially for beginners, I want to emphasize that staking is one of the most profitable and effective way to make money in a bear market. The longer the downtrend, the more you should utilize this income strategy. And you will ask me why? Because because when you buy an asset that it's in a drawdown or that you're accumulating with the expectation of 500, 1000 or even 1500 gains, it's crucial that it also generates income for you. And during bearish conditions, you will get free coins, which will also grow substantially over time, providing additional impressive income beyond just asset growth. So in this video, I'm going to break down the top 10, in my opinion, coins for staking. So hope you find it useful. As usually, hit a like, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to my Telegram channel. I also post some interesting information there. And as usually, let's get started. So let's start by discussing one of the most promising projects in my opinion and I think everyone is familiar with it and it's called Astar Network. So the project is very promising and I have mentioned it several times before. The project is backed by various officials in Japan's financial sector and has top partnerships with Microsoft and Samsung. It is one of the most advanced hubs for decentralized apps on Polkadot. And best of all, it is led by one of the most respected people in Japan. So now let's take a quick overview of some key metrics. First of all, Astar is upgrading to version 2, which will improve staking and most importantly reduce inflation according to the developers. Currently, the project ranks 133 with a market cap of around 360 million. The issuance is almost 65% of the coins, which is good. The staking rate is around 10% per year. Looking at the economic model, we see that in staking currently there are 3.5 billion of coins worth of 240 million of dollars, which is substantial, guys. Aster ecosystem has 54 million of coins locked, which is not a bad amount at all. The ecosystem is slowly but surely starting to grow, and staking coins is an easy way to earn rewards. And basically, Nova Wallet is a high-quality wallet that supports staking for 500 different coins. You only need around $35 worth of coins to start staking. Just in case, leave at least 10 coins in your account to cover transaction fees. And as I've already said, currently staking provides around 10% of annual rewards approximately. Nova Wallet is convenient for staking because you can just download it on your phone. You can withdraw staked coins at any time, but it takes about 5 days. Astar is an impressive project with big potential to grow its ecosystem through partnerships. If you already have Astar coins or want to buy some, now is a good time, even though the price has doubled from its lows. But if you take a closer look, you can see that we're still in a price accumulation mode according to the chart. So buying coins now at around 6 cents range and staking can generate good rewards over time, as I expect Astar to easily reach 30 cents and even $1 in a very long term. So the next project we are discussing is Kava. Kava is a cryptocurrency on the Ethereum blockchain. It is known for its high speed and scalability, which are important features. It already has over 120 applications in its ecosystem and is currently ranked 71 by market capitalization, which is around 760 million of dollars. Importantly, all of Kava's coins are already circulating in the market. None are held back or been added through inflation. And Kava has some big news. On November 14th, it was announced that Kava will be launching its own dedicated blockchain on December 31st. This will bring inflation down to zero. The project's economics will then depend on staking rewards, which is currently around 22% APY from fees generated by activity on the blockchain. You can earn good returns on your coins while yields are still high, but they will gradually decrease as more coins enter circulation. And the most important update is that the project on a distance has a very promising potential. If you already own these coins, note that the coin price is not too far off its lows. The long-term outlook for the distance and the project overall is very promising. The coin had been accumulating throughout 2020 and then reached a high of $9 where you could stake it. I recommend Trust Wallet as a simple, convenient option for staking. Uh, you can also stake on Metamask or Kepler. If you use these wallets and own these coins, please consider staking them. Okay, that covers pretty much it. Now let's move to the next project. Injective Protocol. Let's briefly discuss Injective, most likely you're already familiar with it. Injective is a part of the Cosmos ecosystem, which is the foundation of the so-called interchain decentralized trading without commissions. The project itself allows you to create virtually any markets, synthesize cryptocurrency assets and so on. 
Notably, on October 23, Injective partnered with Google Cloud, and currently it has a market cap of 1.5 billion. We already have 85% of the coins staked, with 45 million of coins locked for staking returns of around 16% APY. Staking can be done through Trust Wallet, uh, Metamask, uh, Ledger, Kepler, etc. The minimum staking period is 21 days and yields vary between 14 and approximately 16%. The project continues to develop rapidly and uh, if you haven't already, there was a great opportunity to buy the coin below $2 in 2022. Unfortunately, I missed this one as well and uh, now the price, in my opinion, is super high, so I will wait for a significant correction in order to purchase Injective. As you can see, the price of the coin is around $18 at the moment. And if you have these coins already, send them to Trust Wallet so the asset can generate new coins, especially considering the fact that Injective has already made around 8x from its bottom values. And you know, this coin is a prime example of why coins need to be staked. If you had recognized the project at some point last year, you could have sent the coins to be staked. And uh, all throughout 2022, you would have been accumulating free coins. We never know which project will take off, but when it does happen, you get extra very impressive income. So you don't necessarily have to use a project that is simply highly profitable. The point is that staking gives you those free coins over time that can lead to major profits down the road. So let's move on to the next one and it's NEAR protocol. So NEAR is a blockchain project characterized by low fees and high scalability through sharding. By the way, I have already made a video where I reviewed NEAR. Feel free to take a look, it's a very useful overview. Today, NEAR has a ranking of 38 and a market cap of almost 1.9 billion. Importantly, 100% of the coins are already in circulation, out of a planned total supply of 1 billion. There is a small discrepancy in the percentages shown, but the key point is that all coins are out, new ones generated only through staking rewards. The supply will not increase dramatically going forward. So let's look at this from another perspective and let's open the get block and examine what we have. So there is 574 million invested in staking and of the total supply, for some reason we don't have all the data pulled up, but the coins can be staked on near wallet or trust wallet. The yield averages to 6.9% annually and the lockup period is just two days in total. I also would like to mention that you can stake it on a centralized exchanges and specifically KuCoin. The yield is slightly higher there, around 8 to 9%, but also higher the risk if you keep the coins on the centralized exchange. Anyway, if you're interested in it, the link to KuCoin you will find in the description to the video. So taking into account that this is all spread across the project's timeline and only a very, very small percentage remained, even this small profitability percentage will be very good and additionally boost your portfolio on a distance because the sell pressure has actually already stopped. The coin is now below two dollars so whether you are considering this project for DCA or you're about just to buy it doesn't matter don't forget to send the coins right away to the wallet so you don't just have them sitting around. So let's move forward and we have Aptos. This one is one of the most sensational projects in 2022 and one of the fastest technologically advanced first level blockchains. By the way, Aptos was created by former members of the Meta team, very capable people. I also made a video about it, feel free to have a look. It's a little bit outdated, but most likely I will make another one recently. So here is the data on the Aptos project that we need to follow. If you haven't bought it yet, consider buying. I thoroughly reviewed this coin and uh, my first purchase was at around $3.8, then I sold it I think at around $7 or $8. I missed the whole growth, but anyway I doubled my investments and at the moment my average is at around $5.5 and I also do stake it. This project has a very long-term potential in my opinion. According to the economic model, let's see what we have in the market, 26% of coins in circulation. Market cap is around 2 billion of dollars and the max supply of coins is around 1 billion. Basically until 2032 we can sleep well because there is a very smooth issuance breakdown. Come on guys, it's actually only 9 more years. It's important to know that Aptos has a significant partnership with Microsoft and one of the top South Korean mobile phone companies. The project looks very promising. Each month the market will enter on 2.5% additional coins, uh, which is really not much given its solid financial model. So all I can say that everything you need to do is just to stay calm and not panic sell until it overrides its all-time high. On the distance I expect it to reach at least $30-$35 dollars minimum, actually even more. And in the meantime you can also stake these coins. Where can you stake them? First there is a wallet called Martian Wallet. You can use it to connect and get an average yield of 7% annually. Yeah, it's not that much, but still on a distance it will give you additional profit. There is also Petro Wallet, you can take a look as well if you're interested. I would personally recommend, uh, not a financial advice guys, just a recommendation, considering Aptos as one of the fundamental projects and safely allocating up to 5% of your total capital. 
So let's proceed with the next one. And now we have Cosmos Atom. Cosmos is a blockchain internet built at the ground level on which other projects like BNB chain are constructed. It currently has a market cap of $3.5 billion. Its current price is around $9.5. Regarding supply, 100% of the coins are in circulation out of a maximum supply of $374 million. New coins are generated through staking, so there is no mining inflation. Overall inflation is around 14% annually. Cosmos has some good partnerships and ecosystem growth, which should drive demand for the coin over time. Right now, staking yields are around 13 to 14%, slightly under the inflation rate. You can stake on Trust Wallet, Kepler, probably this is the best option to stake, and some other wallets. Around 60% of the coins are being staked, showing strong community trust. Staking locks coins for 21 days before they can be withdrawn, so keep that in mind. But given the solid fundamentals and community involvement, Cosmos looks like a strong long-term project. If you hold Atom coins, you should stake them to earn rewards. So let's move on to the next cryptocurrency and it's Polkadot. So DOT is now worth $5.4. It's a very powerful blockchain created by Ethereum co-founder Gavin Wood. I will not talk for too long since we're all already familiar with it and uh, with him. I have a separate video about DOT, also feel free to have a look. Its market cap is $7 billion of dollars at the moment, 94% is in circulation out of a total supply of $1.38 billion. Considering the staking conditions and economic model, it exceeds inflation by twice as much. Another important thing that Polkadot has many applications and projects in active development. The staking conditions are fairly simple. You can stake on Nova Wallet, a Trust Wallet, maybe some other wallets. I haven't, to be honest, checked that much because I personally use Nova Wallet. The staking lockup period is 28 days. And the key advantage is that you can unstake at any time, unlike some other platforms where you must wait. On Trust Wallet, for example, the minimum amount is 250 coins or I think even more. On Nova Wallet, average yield is around 18%, which is a significant amount guys and in comparison to trust wallet you can start staking with one dot there are over a thousand validators in total so decentralization is strong and overall polkadot has a lot of trust and potential within the crypto ecosystem so the project is still strong in my opinion if you haven't purchased that cryptocurrency yet it is currently in a global accumulative phase if you haven't bought it already you can at least safely buy a little bit now as it could still go down to around four maybe even three dollars but the project will be alright, I'm more than sure in it, and the outlook for upcoming years is really great. And let's move on to the next top project for today, last one but not the least, Toncoin, a Web3 project that is gaining momentum right now. This project is partnering with the multi-million dollar Telegram audience, founders are the well-known Durov brothers. I also recently started the channel in Telegram, so if you're interested in crypto news, you can subscribe to it, uh, the link is in the description. It's free. So Toncoin has been one of the most promising projects for years. Uh, the project recently conducted a test that demonstrated the fastest profitability in the world in October 31st. This coin has a market cap of 8.5 billion with 68% of coins in uh, circulation. Importantly, many coins are locked until 2025 and fundamentally this coin has a ton of use cases. So part of the fees are burned which makes it deflationary and developers recently launched an official staking pool. The yield is not significant, is it around 3 to 4, 35% per year, but it's also very simple to stake a lot using the Tonkeeper wallet. You can download it, it's an official app. It is a very user friendly and with just a few clicks I think you can send coins, start staking them easily, so you don't need deep blockchain knowledge to get started. So that's it for today guys, uh, I hope you found this video useful, uh, this was my top list of coins for staking, so write in the comments what you think about all of that, maybe you have some other projects in mind, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next videos.